Today is the last farmer's market of the season. Today feels very dis disheveled. <laughs> we gotta keep going. It is a bit challenging to leave the dock here. Illinois has really like blown away my expectations here on the loop. And there was another tug that was pulling out. So I heard a horn, so I laid on our horn because I didn't want them to come out and like cut us off. So we would have to run into them or get run over by the barge. Whew. Got a little stressful moment for us. Hi, we're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we left the United States and backpacked through 11 countries, all before deciding to come back home and try something completely new, pivoting into boat life. Our current adventure is America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile journey through small towns, big cities, and the wilderness from the eastern portion of the United States, through the Great Lakes and Canada, and down the Midwest rivers all aboard our home on the water, Pivot. Make sure you subscribe as we share our journey through the highs, lows, and everything in between. Good morning from Peoria, Illinois. Today is the last farmer's market of the season and we are out of groceries, out of fresh vegetables. That's a perfect match. If you watched our last vlog, you'll know that this dock was covered with bones and bird poop. Can't do much about the bird poop, but I am trying to clean off the bones and the dead fish. Just make it nicer for the next person. Go for a walk? I can't tell. Oh my gosh, let's go. You're going the wrong way. The start of today's farmer's market begins with donuts. And I was thinking we were going to get two, one for each of us. We got six. They are homemade glazed donuts. They look fantastic. And the line, I think, kind of tells how good I think they might be because there's quite a line for it. Oh my goodness. Wow. These are warm donuts and they are soft. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. They are soft, warm. The glaze just like peels right off. They're not light like they they are light but they're not like they're not airy like Krispy Kreme donuts are but they're still very light which I'm really impressed by mm. Mm. good start mm. oh yeah mm. That farmer's market was crazy good. It had the right balance between like fresh food and like local farms with food, with uh, crafts. It was like creme de la creme. Probably second on the loop so far to Troy. Troy was like this, but maybe times like 50. It was just a lot bigger and a lot more. But this was, was a very, very good farmer's market. Yeah, so impressed. Super impressed. I am so happy to see produce back in our boat and in our galley. It feels so good. I got a loot at the farmer's market just from fruit, which is awesome. That's our typical snack to fresh vegetables for, for lunch and dinners. It is awesome with a few of the treats, such as the donuts from before. Some apple cider as something kind of nice to have as a little treat. But man, I'm so happy. <laughs> you ready to go cruising? Oh yeah. Yes, she is. <laughs> 
Oh, we just took an Uber to the Walmart across the way just to get a lot of bulk goods that we needed. And I just called the Peoria Lock and Dam. So this is one thing you can do ahead of time. Like right now we're in, we're not in a pack. So <laughs> there's no flotilla. So I called ahead of time. I said, we're about an hour out. When do you want us to be there? And he said, leave now. So we're leaving now. Oh, are you gonna release the stern line? Or, or the bow line? No, neither line. Neither line. How you doing first mate? You're, Admiral, yeah. you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Today feels very dis disheveled. <laughs> we gotta keep going. Sure. Great. Little, little, little rattly. Little rattly. It's all right. She's an old girl. It is a bit challenging to leave the dock here because we are on a 25 foot slip in a 34 foot boat. The current is pushing us into the slip. So it's gonna be kind of challenging and the wind is also pushing us into the slip. Wind and current pushing us into the slip. So we need to move the boat out and around in a very tight area. This is gonna be like all of the testing we've done right now. We are off. Successful departure. It was a little bit challenging, but we pushed through, did its screw. Jennifer gave me a nice little shove in the rear, and uh, I had my wheel turned hard over to the right, which means I kicked the stern out again, and then I just laid on the thruster. So I got a thruster, use the thruster, why not? Makes everything easier. And luckily we have a very, very powerful dial thruster on pivot, so it can push us against the wind and the current here in Peoria. Now, vamanos to the Peoria lock. And down the way. Illinois has really like blown away my expectations here on the loop. Like it's just really pretty. Very hilly, very rocky, a lot of wildlife, a lot of free dogs. I mean, Peoria, Ottawa, Joliet so far, literally every spot has been a free dog. It's amazing. And we're gonna be going to more, I hope. But it's just really been cool. Um, it's been fun to travel. And my mom is from Illinois, which is kind of fun too. I have that personal connection here. And I, we, I hope to see some of um, my family as we're going in the next couple stops. It's looking probable, which is really nice. Barge leaving, heading southbound. We're gonna be right behind you. And just like that, they're opening up the gates for us. We were not waiting that long. Maybe about 25 minutes or something. Really not bad at all. Just appreciate that we're getting locked through. So a lock tender gave us the option of just hanging out in the middle of the chamber <laughs> instead of tying off since we're the only boat. So he said we're only coming down 11 feet, there's not going to be a lot of water coming in. So even though it's a bit windy at the top, we're gonna just going to try it, you know? Ain't no time like the present, right? So I'm going to put down the camera and I'm going to focus.
and just like that, that was actually a fairly quick walk. Probably because yeah. we weren't waiting for other boats to come in. Yeah. Nice. Not so bad. It got easier over time because you had less windage. So that's an experience. My thought process was let's practice being in a lock without any fenders and without tying off or whatever because maybe it'll happen one day and we'll, we'll, have, we'll be let loose and now we'll have experience. And it will help. It may not solve everything, but it will help. I find it hilarious just seeing buoys just like way off the mark. Like that red buoy, literally in the woods. And uh, if you're wondering why that happens, typically it's because these barges are pushing a massive amount of containers and, and ships, they run them over. <laughs> and uh, I can imagine that's pretty easy to do. That was kind of crazy. He asked to pass the barge. He said, come on the port side. So I did, but he was turning. So it was like, there wasn't a lot of room. And you're not supposed to cut in front of them because they can't see you. So you're supposed to stay on the side for a while and then cut over. So we're going to cut over now. But then there was another tug that was pulling out. So I heard a horn. So I laid on our horn because I didn't want them to come out and like cut us off. So we would have to run into them or get run over by the barge. Whew. It's kind of a little stressful in the moment for us. Way more stressful than we like it. Our cruise is finally done today. Even though it wasn't that long, about six hours, it is at the end of the day, which is always a little bit more tiring. And like most of the cruise, towards the last couple hours, it's just sun like right in your eyes, which is never ideal. But it is what it is, it's all good. The wind died down considerably and we are about to turn into our anchorage, which we expect to have a lot of loopers in, which is kind of fun. But there's not really a lot of places to dock uh, on some of these stretches of the rivers and so this is the first place so we're gonna be anchoring for the first time in a long time which we love doing and we're excited to do.
both done. You're done. We're both done. Today can be done. Today is done. <laughs> Lots of loopers here. Everybody was super friendly, um, basically telling us like how deep it was and what there was room and where the deadheads were. So thank you to everybody in this anchorage, especially our viewer who uh, told us right behind him was good. And the reason why I didn't go there was only because there's a bigger boat coming and I think that they're gonna need to take that spot. Because we're here, it's 3.2 feet on the death finder, which means that it's 6.4 feet for us. I calculated it while we were in the Benjamins, exactly how uh, how deep our draft is and our offset for our death finder. So we're, we're good here. Um, we have very shallow scope. We have like 40 feet of chain. That's it. Which is great. You know, it's very protected. It's going to be windy tomorrow, but it should be fun. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yes. My lovely fiance has been cooking up some delicious, delicious. Your hair is crazy. Oh my word! Is it? <laughs> it's kind of like today. It's like symbolic. It is kind it's of like symbolic. Like floppy because I'm tired, but crazy because it's today. So, what have we got for dinner tonight? Um, tonight we have instant pot butternut squash risotto. I made risotto previously, like the typical, like traditional way where you slow cook it. But um, I'm trying this recipe out so far. See how it goes. Looks good. Yeah, experiment. Smells good at least. Yeah, it should. It, oh my gosh, it definitely smells good. There's a sage in the recipe and there's nutmeg and I can smell it. It mm -hmm. smells really good. That wraps up our day traveling from Peoria to our Anchorage tonight. We have all of our windows open because it's a little warm. Not too warm at all, <laughs> even though a few days ago it was freezing. Um, but yesterday, we, that was just yesterday. That was just yesterday. 44 degrees. Yesterday was did not get above <laughs> 60 degrees and today got up to 80 and right now it is 68. Much more comfortable, but still warm and inside pivot. We have all of our windows open, only the ones with the screens, I should add. And we have been listening to the <laughs> insects there's like that little humming sound going on. So we've been enjoying that, being back on Anchor. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out a lot. Tomorrow's supposed to have a lot of wind. So then I think we're traveling the next day to somewhere. Beardstown. Beardstown. Illinois River. Down the loop. Thanks for following along on our journey. These are warm. Not for you, girlfriend. Sorry. <laughs>